Let me get this straight. I hurt my elbow, I swallow a pill, it goes to my stomach, then somehow it gets from my stomach to my elbow, and the pain is gone. What Big Farm is calling medicine seems suspiciously like witchcraft. But fear not, tis only science. So how does the painkiller scientifically know where the pain is? Let's take a look at the adventure of your freshly swallowed Advil to understand a bit better. After a long journey down your esophagus, we end up in the stomach. This is bad news for the Advil, considering your stomach is a pit of acid. In this pit, our hero dissolves completely, and once that has happened, he moves into the small intestine, where he gets absorbed into the bloodstream. From here, he travels through the portal venous system to the liver. Once the liver gives the green light, the remains of our hero leave the liver and reaches general circulation. Where is general circulation? Everywhere. But this still begs the question, how does it actually relieve the pain? What is pain. Though you feel pain in your arm, leg, or wherever else, pain doesn't actually happen in your body. It happens in your brain. But that's not to say that there isn't any action going on in your body. In most tissue, you will find cyclooxygenase enzymes. We'll call this cyclo. When cells in your body are injured or experience stress, they release a whole ton of big words. Cyclo has a bit of a crush on one of these big words, erythrodonic acid, but cyclo lacks confidence. So in the approach, they panic and completely devour them. They then turn them into something new. Prostaniglidins, prostiglians, pro st -glan -dins. Once this stuff is released, it quickly binds onto receptors in your peripheral nervous system. That's the nervous part of your nervous system. Then your peripheral nervous system sends signals using electricity to your central nervous system, the big guy. Brain cells then interpret these signals as pain and inflames the area that's hurting. But it's a faint pain, not really noticeable. But because the brain hates itself, depending on how strong the electrical signal, a part of the brain cell called astrocytes releases the same attractive chemical cyclo saw in the first place. And oh hey, would you look at that? Cyclo clothes in the brain as well. And spoiler alert, pain. Lots of pain. You essentially echo the pain you already feel, making it hurt more. Now this all works great, but it hurts. And because we humans are little wimps, we must put an end to it using little pills, or more specifically, NSAIDs. What an NSAID does is disguise itself as the attractive chemical released by the injured cell, meaning it fits perfectly into where those injured cell chemicals usually bind to the cyclo. And then it just doesn't move. It basically acts like a plug, not allowing anything to bind with the cyclo. So no stuff is made. Therefore, that signal to the brain is no longer released, your brain perceives less pain, and also, because it doesn't really know what's going on, it commands less inflammation. So you're kind of killing two birds with one stone. And again, this is happening literally everywhere, not just the hurt area. But that's only for NSAID painkillers. Other painkillers like 